Very, it looks very eerie, very, when I woke up this morning, I was heading out of Las Cruces, there was a power outage, so the streets were dark, it felt like I was driving through Silent Hill, I don't know if you guys have it seen that movie. It was dark. Yeah, it was so, so it, was, it was, I sent a video to Rachel, I was like, oh my god, can you see, you can't even see. <laughs> the world's ending. Um, but yeah, it's very ominous, uh, it's just a crazy sight to see as you wake up with us this Sunday morning. The sun is trying to shine through all of this haze and this smoke, but... If you do plan on being outdoors, we are just dealing with such unhealthy air quality. But we do have the chance to see some rain later on in the forecast. Again, a very slim chance to see these thunderstorms develop. But the main story is going to be these hazy conditions and, of course, the dangerous heat. By the time we hit this afternoon, we're tracking temperatures in the triple-digit mark once again. But all across the borderline, we're dealing with some form of haze in the atmosphere. We're dealing with some smoke thanks to the wildfires burning out west in Arizona, the Gila region, and just south of Albuquerque near Berlin. Um, as well, but temperatures off to a pretty warm start all across the desert southwest. 81 degrees at Phoenix Sky Harbor, 75 across Tucson, 79 degrees for us here in El Paso. We zoom in a little tighter. Things are beginning to cool down just a tad bit as we wake up this morning. Or about and the, when we started the show, we were tracking temperatures in the 80s. Now we're at 74 degrees, but then these temperatures will begin to warm back up into the 90s by the time we hit 10 a.m. Uh, by the time we hit 11, 12 o'clock, we should be hitting those triple digits. So far, we've seen five days of triples. Today is probably make it number six and tomorrow number seven. But you gotta keep in mind to always look before you lock as well. We'll give you an example like this. The air temperature outside is 95 degrees. Within 20 minutes of you leaving your vehicle, 124 degrees, and that temperature begins to rise every minute. So always look before you lock. You never wanna leave any of your pets or children in that back seat because again, those temperatures inside the vehicle will get even hotter than the air temperature that it is outside. Well, uh, track those triples digits across Hot Smith and Culberson County. 101 for Van Horn, 102 degrees for Dell City. I think they'll have a better chance to see these thunderstorms develop for them. But for us, we'll do a 10% chance for the El Paso and the Las Cruces area. I think our main threat with these storms, though, are going to be the gusty winds and the potential of seeing some lightning strikes. But another hot one for Socorro at 107, matching that in Anthony as well. We travel to Donian County. We'll deal with those hazy conditions. Uh, with that smoke in the air. So make sure if you have asthma or any respiratory issues to probably stay indoors with the AC. And you probably want to because when we're tracking 107 degrees across our region, it's not a good site to be outdoors anyways for a long period of time. 106 for Hatch as well for today. And we time it out with our future track computer model. This model has just updated around 3 o'clock. We have the potential of seeing these thunderstorms up in our area mountains as well as the El Paso area. But very slim chances of walking through 6 p.m. Overnight, things look to be quiet. Uh, I think much of the activity will be towards the Texas Panhandle and southeast portions of New Mexico as well. We pause again at, four, at a Monday at 6 o'clock. We could potentially see a stray shower or so. But again, our main threat is going to be the winds, uh, which will pick up some dirt and will also reduce visibility if possible. We'll throw in that slight chance for today and for tomorrow, but it will be hot. But a gradual cool down to 101 degrees for your Tuesday. And we stagger around 100 degrees for the next several days, but by next weekend, we could see those thunderstorms develop once again.